Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial for my tie-dye bubble nails. These ones right here. Yeah, I was going to call these nails like molecule nails, tie-dye molecule nails, but I thought that would just kind of be a weird name, so tie-dye bubble nails it is. Uh, anyway, they look really cool. I like them. They kind of I like the way the colors layer and the black designs layer. If you haven't noticed, I love black line work. I'm going to kind of change it up a bit. I'm not going to go through every single product I use because I realized it was just taking up too much time. So I'm just going to tell you that I used a Miji nail art pen. And I'll leave the link below for this. And these nail art pens are awesome. Um, yeah, really don't have much to say. They're awesome. You should get some nail art pens. Get all sorts. You can get really cheap ones on eBay. Those kind of smell like car paint, but they do the trick. But I personally like these ones a lot. They're kind of apparently like the model's own pens, if you know what those are. But yeah, these are great. And then just get five nail polishes that you like. And these are the ones I used. A pink, a purple, a yellow, a kind of bluey green, and... The color's not picking up true here, but it's a really, really electric orange. So that's what I used. I'll link it all in the down bar. And then um, I also used a eyeshadow. Oh, there's cat hair on there. See that? I also used an eyeshadow pen. This is the only one that I had that... I don't really use these kinds of eyeshadow brushes, but this is the only one I had. You can use any kind of sponge. I just use this. So use whatever you fancy. So the first thing that you're going to want to do before anything is paint your nail the lightest color. In this case, mine was yellow. So do that. And then put your nail polish on a paper towel. And then using your sponge, just gently dab it on your nail wherever you want. I did about two blobs for each color. And just keep in mind that it does not have to be perfect. It's tie-dye. And tie-dye is never the same. And if you mess up or you get it on your cuticle like I just did, it can easily be removed. So don't worry. Um, with the purple, I just did the exact same thing. Just kind of put it randomly wherever I wanted. With the orange, it's kind of weird because the orange is definitely way more electric. And it doesn't look similar to the pink at all. So just kind of ignore that and imagine it being a different color. With the blue, I just put a couple more dots than the other colors just to make it stand out a bit more. Um, so on to the designs with the nail art pen. I just started by making a big circle and then I put a circle within the circle. And on some of them I just kind of freestyled it, like do whatever you want. But I made a circle and then I didn't make the circle big enough so I just put a black dot in it. Um, and then I made a couple of other little circles with no circle around them. But just do whatever you want. Um, it's totally up to you. Also, I left negative space on some of my nails. And some of them I kind of did the whole thing. So again, it's total personal preference. I really like the way it looks with some of the nails having negative space. When I did my non-dominant hand. So when I did my right hand with my left hand feel free to leave as much negative space as you want and cheat a bit um when I do my non-dominant hand I cheat all the time so give it a try and that's it you're all done now add your favorite top coat and this is the result so yeah that's all there is to it they are super 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 easy hope you enjoyed learning that as per usual, I have a quote for you today, and the quote is... I cannot give you the formula for success, but I can give you the formula for failure, which is, try to please everybody. And that's by Herbert Bayard Swope. Anyway, I love that quote. Um, I love any quotes that basically say, be yourself, screw what everybody else wants, make yourself happy, because that is the only way to happiness is by taking care of yourself and making sure that you're doing what you want in life and doing what your passion is. That's it for today's tutorial. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. And of course, it wouldn't be a therapy video without Sparkles. So one second, I will get her. And you know, she's kind of, Sparkles is figuring out the whole camera thing. She's figuring out, Oh, you want me to be on camera? No problem. So I'll just sit like this. But anyway, she is the star of the show. 
and the show must go on with or without her cooperating. So we'll have to trick her. And this time I think I have a really great trick. Oh, look at who is alive. Look at who is spry and salivating. Because I have a disgusting bone here for her, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see this? Look, she won't take her eyes off it. Give me my damn bone. All I want is a bone. You can't have it yet. All I want is a bone. No, you've got you've to look at the camera and tell them how much you love them. Hey, guys. I uh, can't talk. Uh, bone. Guys, this is so gross, I know, and I'm a vegetarian, so it's even grosser, but dogs are scavengers, and they need their disgusting crap from the butchers in order to keep them happy, and look at her, she looks so happy. Hey, Sparkles, do you want a delicious bone treat? Okay, you get down there, you know the rules, go to the kitchen. Excuse me, yes, um, no talkings right now. Uh, I am eating the bone. Yes, okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. See you next time.